there's some security guards behind me. They let me dive in. They had nice boxes here, so I grabbed them. I really don't need them, but these are already nicely packed. These are the guys right there who, uh, who make sure everything's secure here on the shopping center, you know? They don't have a problem me diving into the boxes at all. I mean, to the dumpsters. <laughs> This is this is the Kirklands. This is where I usually get my uh, styrofoam and boxes and stuff. But let's see if they got. Ooh, what do we got here? A chair. Is this a decent? No. Look at the cuts. You can still buy it or get it and repost it. Anything else here? Oh, there's something in a box here. is busted yeah one side of the glass is broken these are little LED lights yeah this thing is busted Busted. I think I should get gloves on. All right, let's keep looking. All right, let's keep going, guys. Maybe I'll find something cool. By the way, the, the audio might be a little bit low on some of the clips because I'm I'm filming with my GoPro and uh, my microphone that I used to use on this. It's on this setup now, so. Uh, the, yeah, the audio might be a little bit not the greatest, but we'll see. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. <laughs> just pulled up behind Petco now, keep in mind guys this is all one shopping center here there's about I don't know 10 stores on this shopping center like Target TJ Maxx stuff like that okay behind Petco here just boxes more boxes they got these new garbage cans they're so high they're pain in the butt actually Ooh, what do we got here Aquarium looks decent, doesn't look crack. All right, let me put this down somehow. throw a perfectly good aquarium. No cracks on this, just missing a lid. Ugh, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, that's an awesome score. That's an awesome score. I don't see anything else in there. 
What are these buckets? They got these weird, weird looking buckets. It says cats, cats food. And they close up nicely like that. I think I'm gonna scoopers. <coughs> Man, these are great buckets. I'm sure, I can get a few bucks for these in a shop. There's a third one. I don't know what that is. What's up, buddy? Take it easy, man. I don't know what that guy was doing. Oh man, this is heavy. This is heavy. This is heavy. Perfectly good, just missing the lid. Oh. It's easy, 30, 40 bucks in my shop. Easy. These buckets. Somebody will use them. These are extra tall too. Nice screw on lids. I got three of them. All right, let's keep going looking for treasures. Free money? <laughs> Not a shopping center. Garbage. Just boxes, hot tools, boxes, 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 more boxes. Anybody needs boxes? I don't need any, I'm loaded up. I am loaded up with boxes. Finally some sun is coming out. It's been a chilly morning. By the way, it is Sunday about 10 a.m., kind of the best day to hit dumpsters. Nothing there. Just more boxes. Yeah, I know some of you guys gonna ask, is this legal? It is legal in my state, in my town right here. If it's on a curb or in a garbage, I can get it unless there's a sign somewhere on a building or on a dumpster no trespassing then it's a different ball game but if there's no sign it's all free money then
Thanks guys, appreciate it. Nice guys. He even told me to go to another dumpster uh, behind, he said, bed and beyond. There might be some good stuff there. I just pulled up to uh, this is half priced books right here. They always have something here. Recycle only. And there's some books. A lot of stuff is wet. It was raining last night, so there's some books in there, but. And what about here? Woohoo! Bunch of media. Bunch of VHSs, DVDs, CDs. Ooh. See that remote? A bunch of VHSs. Let me dive in here. Let's see. Let's see. There it goes. Yeah, everything is like super wet here. of VHS tapes, like game, remotes, I have no idea what these are for, there's two of them, I connect games, fury, bunch of VHS, History Channel where the past come alive. Here's Johnny, Johnny Carson. Oh, I know what you guys are gonna say. There's a lot of Disney, VHS Disney tapes here, but I should probably try to dig them out and see. A lot of them are wet. The dumpster was open and shit got wet. I I don't know. Alright, let me climb out of here. Ha! Oh. <sighs> Let's keep going. <laughs> this is behind Party City. Let's see what do we got here. Just boxes. Ooh. What do we got here? Got my glovey. What is this? Disco instant. Oh, it's a disco ball. Let's see what's the story with this. Oh, I know. It's broken here. One of the spotlights, there's two spotlights, one on each side that put the light on a disco when it spins on a disco ball. But this one is broken. Some nice LED lights in here. You probably get this and part it out for parts. Probably not that expensive at all. What else we got here? Number one. Nothing here. More box 
Texas. A ton of boxes. I really don't need any more boxes. I really don't need any more boxes. I want free stuff. You guys probably want to know which stores are the best that I go to. Well, stay away from the box stores, big box stores like Target, Walmart, uh, Kohl's, because their dumpsters in the back are usually either locked or they have the huge container dumpsters that they just fill stuff in from the inside. You can't get to it. Um, best ones that I like, TJ Maxx for sure. Um, you can always find something at TJ Maxx dumpsters. There's one right here. I'm standing right behind TJ Maxx right now. Um, also, all the beauty supplies. Um, I just hit one right before I got here. Um, unfortunately, they kept the dumpster empty and everything got wet and they had a ton of stuff in there. Um, I don't know why, but they tend to throw out a ton of makeup and stuff. Um, probably, maybe expiration date. Bookstores are usually good, um, like dollar stores, you know, five below, things like that. Those I usually find some stuff. The big box stores, I stay away from it. There's just, they usually don't throw out anything or, or there's no access to it. Anyway, let's see what's, uh, what's going on here. Let me turn my GoPro on. All right, there it goes. Let's see, boxes over here. Who? And of course, I forgot my gloves again. They're in a truck. Bunch of broken stuff. See, but that's what I mean. Sometimes, sometimes it's just slightly damaged stuff behind Pier One Imports. There's nothing here. Everything is wet too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of times, like Kirkland, Pair One Imports, um, what else? Anyway, I mean, it's different every time, but it, guys, why do I freaking do this? It's the hustle, right? I just love to hustle. It doesn't matter if it's a dumpster dive, if it's I'm drifting, I'm going to the garage sales, or I'm going flea market it's looking for that treasure right i get that freaking rush and then you ask why the hell do i do it you have a successful store <laughs> it, it just gives me that rush this is what i do i hustle i hustle every single day you know good example is comparison not example comparison is and i know a lot of you guys been doing it or do it you know how you like play poker okay and I know I got a lot of poker players here. I used to play a lot of poker when I used to live in Vegas for a while. Um, you get that rush you, and that uncertainty, right? That you know that, ah, is that card coming? This is the same way I get the same freaking rush of, of treasure hunting. It doesn't matter if it's a dumpster or if it's a garage sale, you never know what you're gonna come across. I mean, and, and that's what I do. That's what I've been doing for years. It just gives me that rush. So I don't mind getting dirty. I really don't mind getting dirty. All right, so you guys are gonna say, what the hell are you doing, Pete, right? Who's gonna sell an aquarium on eBay? Screw eBay. Throw it on Craigslist, on any of the Facebook groups. We'll be gone in a heartbeat. You put this thing out for 40 bucks, you get 30 bucks in a heartbeat. That's a, that, that's a $100 aquarium right there. Yeah, it's missing the lid, but somebody can use it for whatever. You know, maybe they have a lid. Uh, these buckets, throw them out for five bucks a pop. They'll be gone on a Facebook group. I'm telling you. Right in front of the Goodwill, right next door, I have to stop in. I haven't been to this one in a while. Let's see if I can grab something in this one. Uh, never have any success, really, in this Goodwill. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna leave the camera actually behind. I'm gonna go in there for a few minutes, go quick walk through, see if I can spot anything. I didn't score anything big, but I got myself a hat. You guys know I love hats, right? Uh, Blackhawks with tags, 
brand new. And the best part is, right? Buck 99, right here. Come on, focus, focus. Buck 99, so I paid uh, 214 with tax, right? But they gave me my coupon, $5 off on your next purchase. Basically, this didn't cost me anything. Anyway, guys, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Let me put my new hat on. My Black Hawks hat. The season is starting. Thank you guys very much for watching. Just go out there and hustle. That's what it's all about. That's what I've been doing. Non-stop hustle. Uh, and it pays off. It really pays off. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Till next time, guys. Cheers.